Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Akamsha. So, you read the thought, 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 starting only, I have to say something. I always come very prepared, you know, I'll pronounce things so nicely, I will not fumble, I will not say you know a lot, I will not say like a lot, but I all I do is doing those things in the video. Um, but anyways, we read the title already. We are going to talk about few of my, not few, uh, I made a list of my top 10, top 10 to 12 of my favorite, favorite nude lipsticks. So I do love a lot of different shades for a lot of different lipsticks. But right in the back of my mind when I thought about this video, like the first 10 names I got, I just wrote them down. So you know these ones, I remember by heart, by name. So I'm just going to show you those uh, products. So I have drugstore, they have high end, I have mid range, I have all kind of, uh, you know, range lipsticks and uh, just so you know my preference of nude lipsticks because everybody has like a different type of, uh, you know, shades they like. I'm a person who gravitates more towards pinks and browns. I'm not a very coral person. I don't like warm browns or rusty shades or anything like that. I'm more into pinks and browns. So if you're somebody who likes warm shades, then this might not be for you or if you want to like explore and try new different shapes then you can surely watch it one more thing before we get started is that i like i know i'm giving a lot of clauses here but i do have to put the disclaimers out there because i would be like you do not like this say it. I'm like, uh, it's just a preference so this is my preference if you do not like this then that's okay completely fine what you like i might not like what i like you might not like and it's just a choice and preference of shade is just makeup at the end of the day so i'm a person who likes uh, lighter nudes i usually tend to go in with 99 percent of the time i tend to go with a liner and then a lipstick it just love i just love the look a lip liner and a lipstick gives together so i usually don't tend to go in with like a darker lip liner and then a lighter lip shade i just love the gradient effect it gives and then a gloss that's my way of doing a nude lip i know a lot of people especially when it comes to deeper duskier tones they don't like lighter nudes they usually tend to go for more like berry pinks or reds or dark browns and i think it's you know a personal preference but i'm not that person i you i love going in with a darker lip liner to give that dimension and then a lighter shade so if you're somebody who generally is into that darker shades but you really want like a nude nude lip because according to me a dark pink or a berry pink or a dark red dark brown is not really a nude so you can you know try such uh, things most of the shades you know you can wear without the lip liner there are few which you definitely will require lip liner especially if you're my skin tone and above if you're lighter skin tone than me you probably would not uh, need just so you know i was giving you like you know information out there you can make any lipstick work according to you if you have like one lip liner this is the one lip liner i really really like this is the wet and wild lip liner in uh, uh, the shade chestnut i've been using this for years and years so there are like five six liners i have which i make use for every single lipstick and just get whatever achieve whatever i want to so anyways i blabbered a lot gave out a lot of disclaimers now let's dive into the you know main lipsticks part want a reference of what my skin tone actually is i'm a mac nc40 i'm a fendi 310 i'm a maybelline 310 i'm a huda beauty tray liche so hopefully that helps you so there are certain categories i have for the lipstick and all of these touch all those marks hence they are in my list so one is it should be properly pigmented two is it should be uh, creamy three it should not flake and dry and just come out of your lip and fourth is that it should be long lasting now long lasting is very subjective for lipsticks i'm a person i do not mind to reapply lipstick it's just lipstick when i eat my food oil tends to break lipsticks apart and that's completely normal because makeup tends to break with oil so for me long lasting is not a huge huge factor but i know for a lot of people it is but all these perform pretty well according to me in terms of long lasting as well so now let's start off with the first shade which is uh, the one i'm wearing this is from mac cosmetics this is their matte lipstick in the shade 
honey love it's a beautiful matte but creamy lipstick i'm a person who loves bullet lipsticks more than liquid lipsticks because i just feel like they are so much more comfortable on the lips they look so much more nicer they're not dry and cracky like you know liquid lipsticks usually are this is not a shade you can wear it by itself at all maybe if you're way too lighter skin then yes this is a very like proper light nude which i love pairing it with like a darker lip liner you can see i have a darker lip liner and a very light shade inside it's just my vibe like i uh, told you so by itself it just washes you out it does not look good at all but with a lip liner it looks stunning and i really like this one formulation wise color wise everything i really like okay the next one is the k beauty matte lipsticks uh, this lipstick formulation is one of my favorite it's super creamy super pigmented and i love how lightweight it is on the lips and this is a shade thriller which i really really love i actually have a lot of shades from this entire range which i really love like revolutionary box office snapshot these are like right off the mind i remember these ones which i really wear but thriller so beautiful beautiful brown which i very often tend to go for because it just looks really nice on my skin tone and i really like this uh, lipstick i recently had such a bad acne burst out it was out of nowhere i don't know it was hormones or food probably diwali food and also i got my period so everything together it's like can you see how strong and potent it looked i took so much effort to clear everything out and this is like hello anyways this is without lip without makeup okay the next one and this one oh my god i recently started trying it and i absolutely fell in love with this one so this is from a brand called verified uh, so if you don't know this brand it's a new brand in the market it is found by a creator called anam she's a sweetheart and she sent me three of their uh, shades and i have the shade litella and oh my god i really really love it so first of all just look at this packaging you guys it just looks so luxe and it's just 899 it looks like a luxurious lipstick and it's just not like a lipstick which you'd pull apart it has this rolling thing which is amazing because sometimes when you put these general lipsticks in your bag it just the cap tends to come out and your lipstick can like get over all over the place so it just like you know you can and it's done and the formulation stunning the pigmentation the creaminess but it's super matte as well for like you know looking at it and especially the shade litella i i swear like every skin tone can pull this shade off i'm sure of it because it's so damn neutral but a touch of warm brown and it's stunning like i really really like the shade I when I saw this I was like mm, I don't know because usually these shades are not something I tend to go for but once I put them on and especially on bare skin oh my god so stunning I really love this one I really want to try a more like pinkish nudes from their uh, range she sent me other like berries and reds but this is a neutral shade and I'm absolutely in love with this one I've been wearing constantly since 2 weeks then the next one I have is the Lakme Absolute Spotlight Lip Gloss I have the shade Creme Caramel again this is not a mattifying or um you know super pigmented lipstick it's a kind of a gloss which is pigmented but i love love the shade it's super like lightweight and very natural especially for like an everyday or no makeup makeup look it just adds that color it gives you that like nice glossy lips but it's not too heavy or like completely opaque like a normal matte lipstick would be and this shade is stunning it looks really nice on my complexion if you're a little darker than me probably you can go with a liner if you're a little lighter than me again you don't have to then the next one i have is the maybelline new york this is their creamy sensational matte lipstick in the shade touch of spice again a really affordable lipstick but a beautiful shade this is super creamy it's not very very long 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 lasting sure long lasting it's not very long lasting but super creamy and i love the shade it's just 299 rupees and this i think is my second time i bought this i had this once and i completely finished it was so obsessed with the shade at one point i used to wear it every single day and i ran out of it so i got one more and this is stunning then the next one i have is again another the mac cosmetics lipstick this is their cream sheen lipstick in the shade creme in your coffee the first one i showed you was a matte formula from 
MAC Cosmetics but this is a more like creamy shiny formula and I really love this one just makes your lips like look nice and juicy for me especially it looks like my lips but better and I really like uh, this one the next one I have is from Hero Beauty this is their liquid lipsticks not only this shade but they actually have like an entire shade of nude collection which I actually even swatched on uh, Instagram all the shades are stunning huh but these two shades were like my favorites one is Sandy Mob and one is Cinnamon new now cinnamon nude i don't know where it is since the one week i'm not finding it unfortunately but i'll add like a photo of something here uh, so that you can you know get a reference of how it looks you can check that video out if you want to like you know see all the shades swatched as well like, this is a pink one and the cinnamon nude is like a brownish nude it's totally cool it's very lightweight it's very comfortable it does not crack it does not dry down your lip where you're like oh my god i can't believe i'm wearing like a lipstick you feel it right and sometimes it cracks open and i don't like that but this is a very lightweight formula but super properly pigmented does not patch does not flake okay the next one so again my bad back to back two lipsticks i'm like i'm not having it but this though i've recently used like in the last two videos literally i used this lipstick this is the inside cosmetics matte lip ink so this is i think literally just one 80 or 100 rupees per lipstick and there's a shade called bougie in this this is also a stunning shade this is wild card but there's a shade called bougie in this and I love it. The combination of this and that I've been loving so, so, so much. Um, I'll add again a clip of Bougie and uh, Wildcard. I I'm not having these because I put them in some handbag and I forget because while I'm going I wear them and I don't know which handbag I put I searched all my handbags and I'm not finding it anywhere the, so the next one is the L'Oreal Paris Rouge Signature Lipstick this is in the shade I Rule oh my god so stunning so this is basically like a tint as well which it kind of stains your um, lips so firstly stunning nude but also it's so long lasting because it kind of adds like a stain or a tint on your uh, lips it's a beautiful balance of pink it's not too tacky it's not too like you know warm i just i'm a person who loves neutral pinks or cool toned pinks or mauves i don't like a little warmer shades it's just i can't accept it i feel like it does not look good on me it probably does but it's just like you know again a preference but beautiful shade i rule one of the best best shades in the entire range so when I go ham and I, so when I go ham and use like hundred different uh, uh, lip shades on my lips and I'm like what the hell is this I can just pull the shade add it in the center and no matter which shade or what especially when I'm of course playing with browns it makes it look so 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 much better instantly probably this is the only brown which is a little warm I really 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 like I mean the shade only it's a very I don't know how to explain that shade I don't have a shade which uh, looks like this it's kind of neutral but it's a little orangish as well and you can just see that's a very unique shade I don't have a brown like this and I really really love this one but one thing by itself I don't usually uh, like it if I mix it with something only I like it so because by itself you can see it's a little more on the warmer side and I have nothing against warm shades you guys will like it please plus don't come at miss okay please don't nothing nothing again I and mean, they are beautiful stunning just don't like it on no. me so yeah guys that's it for this video i hope it was useful and you found something uh you love if not now then i've more shades which i can make more videos about let me know in the comments what you know you want to see next i would love to film that for you guys and thank you so much for watching and if you like the video then make sure like share and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell and also like and comment you guys it just helps my video to get to more people and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye My makeup looks, I'm just looking at myself from that time because my makeup looks so stunning. I've like, after a long time my makeup looks this good and you look stunning girl. This is just, uh, I think daily affirmations. I'm like, you look stunning. You look so pretty. I do. Let's look at that. My makeup and everything, the like outfit, the earrings. I'm in a mood today.